Hi, I'm G.I. Chutney Soka Monarch 2020, and this is my OMG interview. I'm leading up to, to Chutney Soka Monarch final. Um, well, it started from the semi final where we, we did put in a lot of work um, from the semi finals into the final. Um, it was a lot of hard work. I can't take all the credit for it. It's a team effort. Um, I have a great team behind me and I am very grateful for that. They did all the hard work that you saw behind me in terms of the production. My duty and my job on the night was to go out there as a singer and as the, the, the person to represent the brand GI and execute as best as possible on, on my part. Um, it was a fun night. I went on like about uh, 30, some somewhere around there in the morning. I was at position number 22 um, and the crowd was pumped and ready to go. When I ran on that stage, it was just pure energy. The crowd fed that energy to me. I took it in and I gave back that same energy to them. Good morning! Good morning, everybody! You're coming up morning! You're coming to buy again this morning, but you're just passing through. And you know how my man like his sandwich soup on a Saturday. So I come to the market to buy my provision and my green fig and my plantain. But what about bananas, Anna? Bananas? Oh, God, I love a nice, firm, ripe banana, you know. Let me see them. What you have? How much a pong? Cecilia was uh, was the Anna um, on the night. Everyone was expecting DJ Anna, but um, I we 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 swing the whole thing because I had quite a few events that Anna was on DJ Anna, and I was on the said events and. I brought on stage and sold that to play with people's minds and then we had Cecilia who played the role of Anna because the theme of Chutney Soka Monarch 2020 was the journey and what we did is something like back to the future. So we, we went back in time and bring you forward into the journey and, and you know winning Chutney Soka Monarch now is a start of a new journey. So yeah, it was a good vibe. In 2020, I um, well, we celebrate five years as GI this year. Um, before that, I sang with two bands, two big Chutney Soka bands for uh, quite a number of years. First band being Karma. I sang with Karma for four years. Um, after that, I sang with Dilina Dan for seven years. And after Dilina Dan, I went, uh, rebranded from General Imran to GI. So we had a transition from General Imran to GI. And when we started GI, it was basically a product of its own and not a product of it, a product of a product. Um, General Imran was associated with bands already, so we wanted to make that change when we transitioned from one to the next, going in from a band career to a solo career. Hence the reason the change in name um, GI from General Imran, which also means General Imran. Um, so we, we are celebrating five years in the industry now, so there's a lot of experience with, with, with me as an artist. Um, in terms of the music, I am also a um, keyboardist. 
Um, I play mostly by ear, but um, if I hear something, I can play it instantly. Um, so yeah, so over the years we have been working in the last five years, not only to win Chutney Soka Monarch, but put focus on, on, the, on the brand GI. As I always say, I am the fortunate vessel that carries GI, but GI is really a brand. It's not a one-man thing, it's a team thing. Together, everyone achieves more. Um, first and foremost, I am very proud that the work that we put in in the last five years to now, it's actually paying off. And that is something that stands out for me because it's really hard as a, as a how to say, a, a artist singing with, a, with two of the biggest Chutney Soka bands in Trinidad and Tobago, going on a solo path and then building it into this. Again, I have a very strong team behind me and we work hand in hand and work together and we work really hard to build what we have now. This is just the beginning. Five years is no time in, a, in, an, 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 in an artist's career, but in the five years, I am very grateful for where I am today. Um, there's a lot of things that stand out in that five years. So me pinpointing one thing, I mean, that's been biased. Well, I grew up in um, Princess Town, um, uh, Bonanza Street and Madingo Road in Princess Town. Um, at the age of eight, my mom encouraged me to, to enter the ever popular Children of Mastana. And that is where it all started. Just to go back a bit, my father died when I was three years old. My mom is a single parent. Up until this day, she never remarried, never had a boyfriend. Her, her whole thing was to just stay behind me and my brother and keep driving her, driving us forward to be successful in life. Um, I came from a very, very humble beginning. Although I don't like to use that word too much, I like to use more, I am a grounded person. Um, so yes, basically that's it, eight years old, enter Chirana Mastana, play second in the grand finals. Um, and there the career really kicked off. Another thing that people really don't know about me, I used to play cricket. Um, I had a choice between cricket and um, singing. And in those, in, in those days, cricket, um, to me, never used to really make money. So I went on the singing part. I still have some skills in cricket. Uh, um, I'm 33 now, so <laughs> I don't know if the bones will hold up good, <laughs> but because you know, in being in sports, you have a lifespan. So when you reach 33 and um, going up that, that, that road, you know, the, the muscles start giving up. <laughs> you start the salts in the body, you run out quick, <laughs> start cramping up. So yeah, um, I went to school at Princess Town Astra Primary. Um, that's my primary school. And then I went on to Barapur Secondary School. That's the five years. Um, they changed the name now, but back then was Barapur five years. Um, and that was it. That, that was my education there in terms of school. Uh, at the age of 17, when I finished school, I joined the band Karma at that age. Uh, the said year I, I finished school, the said year, um, it was uh, December 24th, Christmas Eve night, was my first gig with the band Karma so many years ago. And, and that is where the journey really started for, for General Imran in those years. In the four years that I sang with Karma, and the seven years that I sang with Dilnada, and I ended my band career after that time. And then we, I took a break from the industry and looked at every corner and, and made a choice and, you know, all right, we need to target certain things. And when we target that one thing, we're gonna keep working at it, working, 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 working until we reach where we want to go or somewhat where we want to go and just keep elevating. And then we had the transition from General Imran to GI and we started working the ground in 2016. It was my first year as GI and it was my first time entering Chutney Soka Monarch. And I made it to the finals and that year um, I played six in the final. In 2017, I did not make it to the finals. I made it to the semi-final, but I made it to the final stage as a guest artist. In 2018, I placed fourth um, in the final. 2019, I placed second in the final, and in 2020, I won the crown. Yes, it's dedication, um, it's hard work, it's sleepless nights. I mean, I'm here, but I am tired, but something in me is just giving me that drive to keep going and going and going. I've been on, from Sunday to now, um, winning Chutney Soka Monarch, I've been on so many interviews. I don't think I've been on so many interviews in my entire career. Just in a couple of days time, I've been on so much interviews. 
and it's exciting, it's amazing, and each interview, it's, it's a new vibe, it's a new feeling, and, and it just keeps me going. Oh, my mother, she is very, very much happy. Um, I owe a lot to her. I owe a lot to my mother for having me where I am today. I also owe a lot to my wife, who, when my mother hand, her son hands into her arms and into her hand, she took the responsibility of bringing me here today. Um, I also owe a lot to my two sons, who, who has been supporting me tremendously. You know, so family is everything um, to me and to my family. We all stand together, no matter the, the tick or the tin, we there for one another. Um, I just want to say thanks to OMG for having me here. Um, it means a lot. It's my first time. I know this is only um, going to do great for me, this interview. Um, thank you to all the fans out there. Thank you to every single person who played a role in making me. That goes from Almighty God to every single human being that helped me to reach where I am today. From my band career to my solo career to every single sponsor, from the smallest to the biggest, to every fan, to every promoter, to every band that backed me up over the years, um, even as GI, as General Emerald, to just the world, thank you very much. And to my corporate sponsor, Hennessy, I thank you very much for your support. This is my second year as brand ambassador for Hennessy, Trinidad and Tobago. I am, and I am the first Chutney so Soka artist to represent the brand. Thank you everyone for viewing my OMG interview. This is your Chutney Soka Monarch 2020 GI. You can check me out on Instagram at GI underscore music and at Facebook, GI music. Thank you. Salute. <laughs> Squeeze my banana, Anna, Anna, don't squeeze my banana.